Well, it's a rainy day in Lyon, Spain, and I'm wrapping the day up right now, so I thought I'd take a few minutes to chat. Um, first of all, concerning the cathedral, it is a must-visit. Beautiful cathedral. I found it to be strikingly beautiful. Much more light and airy than many other cathedrals. Uh, the architecture is outstanding. The beauty of the stained glass windows is incredible. And the tour, entrance by the way, is, is uh, seven euros. And the, the audio tour that you load down onto your phone was very, very good. Uh, there is a museum also. The museum, once you're in there, you find out the museum costs an additional three euros. And if you're not into religious artifacts or uh, the art, art and architecture of the church, then don't even bother. You're not allowed to take photographs there. But um, if, you, if you've seen the main cathedral, you've probably seen enough. The second thing I did today was the Gaudi Museum, and it centers around the one particular building that houses the museum. I didn't take many pictures, but there's a lot available online of that. It talks about Gaudi's uh, many works, mostly in the Barcelona area. Only three are outside of Barcelona area, including the one here in Lyon. Is it worth it for, I think it was seven euros? Um, eh, yeah, I would say so. I, I found it to be enjoyable. It shows some of his furniture that he designed. Uh, it does show a lot of his other works. So it was not one of my top 10 museums in the world, but certainly worth seeing. So I'd say, yeah, go ahead and do that. Uh, I found in Leon to be a very enchanting city, very beautiful, and I like it very much. And someday I would like to do a tour across Northern Spain and just drive to the many different cities that I'm visiting as I'm walking from here to Santiago and spend some more time just looking at the, the buildings, the churches, the art, the architecture, and enjoying it a little more in depth. And Leon is certainly one place that I would stop. Well, right now I'm not in the old city of Lyon anymore. Nice to be out of the old city. It seems like I spend so much time in old towns these days. It's nice to be in more of an urban area. Very nice shopping district, an urban part of Lyon. And you can see the cathedral uh, in the distance in the center of the screen. Uh, a couple police cars to the left here. I think they're checking somebody's scooter. Not really sure what's going on there. But that's not why I stopped there here. The reason I stopped here is because there's a series of um, structures, rock, <laughs> stone, and on each one of them there is a QR code that relates to a, uh, someone who is famous and important to the history of Spain. And here's Alfonso V. So maybe I'll uh, try to do a screen recording and show you what comes up when I, when I uh, scan this QR code. I did a couple others. Pretty interesting. I just found Alfonso here, so we'll give him a try. And I'll put that in here in, into the videos if I can. So I hope I'm recording now. And let's see if I can lock in on that QR code. Get the water off of it. It's raining here a little bit. There we go. I hit the link. And let's see what comes up. Alfonso the fifth, 999 to 1028. And it tells me the story of Alfonso the fifth. And in English. I just noticed that. That is pretty amazing. I'm sure if, uh, if my phone were set up differently, it would tell me the story in, in Spanish. So I just think that is really, really an awesome feature here. So I counted a total of 18 of these stone structures and different heights. And I don't know if uh, the taller ones are of more importance or not. But I just think that's a pretty awesome way to teach history 
and I don't know how many people take advantage of that, but I think it's pretty cool, and I'll probably look at a couple more of them. Down this side street, you can buy Texas boots. Texas boots. There we go. I'm walking down this business and shopping district. It's Sunday afternoon, so it's not busy at all. Most stores are closed. Uh, there's a pharmacy that's open. I stopped in there to pick up some ibuprofen. Um, Camino candy, they call it. <laughs> For those who have aches and pains. I hadn't taken any at all uh, the first three weeks, but uh, starting to catch up with me a little bit. So I'm going to start taking them as I need them, which won't be very often, I assure you. And beautiful, beautiful shopping district, though. This is a limited access street, so you don't see any cars on the street here. Uh, we saw the police cars earlier, and this is the kind of area where in the morning you'll see delivery trucks and vans to the different shops. Uh, you'll see business people coming in and parking. I'll turn the camera around and show you. Uh, what is uh, sometimes not realized is that under major streets like this that have been totally rebuilt and perhaps under these buildings there are actually parking garages and that handles a lot of the traffic that you might see on the streets here just gets all the cars off the streets and that's kind of nice makes for a very nice open fill to the streets as you walk up and down